Welcome. I'm a nurse practitioner at Upstate Medical University in Syracuse, New York. I am honored to be part of a team providing medical care for many refugees resettling in our community. During the next 10 minutes, I will inform you about a type of TB that you have likely never heard about called latent TB. TB is a disease caused by a germ, a bacterium seen only with a microscope that can infect any part of our body. Most of the time, our body fights the TB infection, killing or walling off the bacteria in our body so that the bacteria does not make us sick. However, we never totally get rid of TB bacteria unless we take medication to kill it. TB, also called tuberculosis, is one of the most common and dangerous diseases in the world today. Most refugees come from places where TB is common. All refugees resettling in the United States and Canada are tested for TB. TB is common among poor countries because of lack of access to diagnosis and treatment. But it occurs in all regions of the world. TB is an infection that, when active, can make people very sick. Broadly, we can classify TB into two types, latent TB and active or real TB. If you have TB bacteria inside your body, but you are not sick, there are several names for this phase, such as sleeping, dormant, or latent TB infection. Latent means that something is present, but not apparent. Latent TB can be diagnosed with a skin test. People with latent TB infection are not infectious to others. Most of us may not be aware about latent TB as it has no symptoms. When latent TB becomes apparent, it can cause active or real TB. Real TB causes sickness. The person often has fever, night sweats, bloody cough, weight loss, and is easily tired. Latent TB can become active at any time, but often is triggered when we are also sick from another disease. Our body can no longer fight both diseases, and the TB bacteria spreads in our body. Most people don't know when the TB bacteria infected their body. The TB bacteria can spread to people living with a sick TB person, meaning a person with active TB. When the person sick with TB coughs, the TB bacteria travels through the air to other people. Many infections spread this way. This is why the doctor often has sick, coughing people wear a mask. We try to stop infections from spreading to others. Frequently, the TB infected person that travels will transmit the infection to more people. TB can affect anybody, young or old, good or bad rich or poor. TB is not a sign of something you did wrong. Most refugees have been infected with TB but do not have the sickness. This is called latent TB. The test that is used for the diagnosis of latent TB is called the TB skin test. Using a small needle, the nurse injects a test fluid under your skin. If you have latent TB, the skin will swell and become red within two days. This red swelling is called a positive skin test for TB. If there is no reaction, nothing further needs to be done. If the skin test is reactive, which many are, the doctor will examine you and ask questions to see if you have any signs of active TB. The TB vaccine, BCG, is routinely used in countries to prevent TB. You may have had this shot when you were born or as a young child. As a child, the BCG shot might have caused a reaction when you're given a TB skin test. However, as an adult, the BCG no longer causes a reaction of the skin. Thus, a reactive skin test in an adult is due to infection from TB. This we call latent TB. The scar on your shoulder doesn't mean you are immune against TB. Then a chest x-ray will be performed. The doctor knows you had a chest x-ray before coming to the United States, but it is important to have a chest x-ray here. 
if both your exam and chest x-ray are normal, but your skin test is positive, you have latent TB. Often a medication should be taken for latent TB. The medication kills the bacteria. You might ask, why take medication if I'm not sick? People with latent TB are not sick, but can become sick in the future. The sickness can be prevented by killing all the TB bacteria that your body is fighting. The medication is a weapon for your body to totally remove TB. The body has been fighting TB for a long time, so it will take the medication a long time to find and kill the hidden pockets of TB in your body. Fortunately, we have more than one weapon to kill TB, and it takes only one medication to fight latent TB. When people are sick with active TB, it usually takes four medications to get better. Medicines that fight latent TB are called INH, which stands for isoniazid, or rifampin. Either one has to be taken for a long time, months. Your doctor will decide which one is best for you. Often a vitamin called pyridoxine is also taken with INH. The medicine is free because it is important to us that you complete all the medication days. While on medication for latent TB, it is important to remember the following. Do not take alcohol. Do not take other medications without first asking your doctor, especially paracetamol, which is usually called Tylenol or acetaminophen here. It is important to take your TB medication bottles with you to show the nurse anytime you seek medical care, either at a medical clinic or the emergency room. Always take all the medications as prescribed. If you took the medication for just a few days, the bacteria will become familiar with that medication and will stay alive. So when you use the same medication in the future, the bacteria will not be killed and you may get a severe form of the disease. After completing the medication, the TB bacteria is no longer in your body, but your body will react to the TB skin test if you receive it again. Thus, you should be given a written letter or card that you have completed the medication, and you should not have another TB skin test. Rather, if required, a chest x-ray should be done to look for any new disease. Thank you for listening. We at Upstate Medical University in Syracuse, New York, hope this information has been helpful to you. And we are grateful for the generous support of the Central New York Community Foundation. We wish you the best. This video was made possible by the effort of refugee volunteers and the financial support of the Central New York Community Foundation. We are very grateful for the Community Foundation's support of this work and many other projects over the years in the Syracuse community.